Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this interesting math problem. And you can see my little title here is Don't Let This Confuse You. Now, how is it that we can be confused by a math problem? Well, the number one way this happens with a lot of students is they simply just read the problem one time and they're like, okay, now I know what to do. Never do that. You always want to read a problem more than once. Really think about it before you kind of step off into your actions, if you will. But uh, let's go ahead and read this problem. We have one half of two thirds is the same as three fourths of what number? Okay, so if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how not to be confused when solving a problem like this. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it uh, really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, one half of two thirds is the same as three fourths of what number? Let's go to take a look at the answer. The answer is four ninths. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is great. Matter of fact, we're gonna give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family Then, indeed you will not let a math problem confuse you because you like to kind of think about the problem. You have to kind of think and be like, okay, before you just start writing stuff on your paper, you know, think about it and be like, hmm, let me reflect upon it. Do I understand the problem? Okay, that's the first thing. If you understand the problem, then you can be like, okay, now that I get the problem, I can actually take action, right? Because a lot of students, what they'll do is they'll read the problem real quick and they don't really understand what's going on, okay? So if you don't understand the problem, you're not gonna really be able to solve the problem, right? But uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so one half of two thirds is the same as three fourths of what? If I said, take one half of two thirds, we have to understand this basic mathematical language right here. So one half of two thirds, what does that mean? Well, you could see it means multiplication. One half of two thirds, if we want to find out what one half of two thirds is, what we have to do is take one half and multiply it by two thirds, right? So hopefully you, you uh, understood that. And if you didn't, no big deal, now you do. So one half of two thirds, now in mathematics, when you see uh, the word is, that's always the equal sign, okay? So we'll kind of build a nice little equation here. So one half of two thirds, that's this right here, is the same as what? Well, it's the same as three fourths of some number, right? So that would be three fourths of, again, we're gonna be multiplying by some number, we don't know what this number is. So how can we figure this number out? Well, I'm gonna show you how we can not figure this out, but this is kind of the, the situation, right? So if you don't understand the problem, you're not gonna be able to figure it out. So again, it's okay to be confused when you uh, read a math problem. That's is very you know, common. So always take time to kind of slow your brain down and kind of think about it and model it out the best you can never start a math problem unless you really kind of understand the problem itself. All right, so now let's go ahead and get going here. Uh, one half times two thirds, so one half of two thirds is this, but one half times two thirds is uh, one half times two thirds. We could write these fractions this way. We could cross cancel these twos is the same as three fourths times some number. We don't know this, but what we're gonna do is clean this problem up. So one half times two thirds is one third. So one third is equal to four thirds times some number. Now, at this point, you might be saying to yourself, well, can I you know, figure out this fraction right here? What fraction or what number uh, times three fourths will give me one third? That's what I have to figure out, right? That's what we call the solution. So a lot of you might be like, hmm, I don't really know how to do this. But uh, if that is a situation, this is where algebra is uh, like our superhero, okay? Because we're looking for what here? We're looking for our number. We don't know what this number is. We're like, well, I don't know what this number is. 
Well, in algebra, you can always use a variable like x to represent this number. And that's the whole point, or one of the main reasons we use algebra to solve problems uh, when there is an unknown value. Like right here, we don't know the value of 3 fourths times some mystery number is some number x, if you will. So what we can do is construct a nice basic equation here. And hopefully you picked up on that. But if you didn't, now you know. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to build an equation and solve it. But uh, before we do that, I would like you to solve a problem for me. And that is, I'd like to increase uh, my subscribers. So if you can help me, you know, increase <laughs> my subscriber count by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell, that would be so awesome. Matter of fact, I would kind of look like this when you do that. Uh, it goes a long way for me. Okay, I love teaching uh, math. I have a couple thousand uh, videos on my channel uh, from basic math to advanced math. So if you're new to my uh, channel, thank you so much for uh, watching my content. And if you want to learn algebra, geometry, uh, more advanced math, just scour through my channel or check out my courses. You can find a link to those in the description below. But let's get back to the problem. All right, so at this stage, right, we know we have... Uh, One-third is equal to three-fourths times some mystery number. This is kind of where we distilled the problem down. So this mystery number, we're going to go ahead and uh, have a variable like x. We could be, it could be x, it could be y, but I'll use x to represent this number. So three-fourths of x, or three-fourths times this fraction, or number x, is going to be equal to one-third. So the objective here now is to solve this equation. All right, let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, typically in algebra, we'd like to have our variables to the left. So in other words, if I write an equation like 2x is equal to 10, it's not really, a, uh, I want to say, it's not wrong to write the equation like 10 is equal to 2x, but typically we like the variable to the left. So just understand that uh, 2x is equal to 10 is equivalent to 10 is equal to 2x. So in this case, if I have my variable on the right-hand side, I can just take my variable term and put it on the left and put my number on the right. So that's what I'm going to do. I have 3 fourths times x, or 3 fourths x is equal to 1 third. So now I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on solving this basic equation. 3 fourths x is equal to 1 third. All right, let's go ahead and do that right now. The easiest way to solve this equation is to flip this fraction right here, this what we call a coefficient. This is 3 fourths. Let's just flip it upside down. That's 4 thirds. And we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds. Now, why did I flip this upside down? Well, because when I multiply 4 thirds times 3 fourths, I'm going to get 1. Okay? So or that would be 12 over 12, which is 1, or 1x, one or x. That's what I'm looking to do, right? I'm looking to... Uh, do something to this 3 fourths x to get x, or 1x, because that is the solution. But uh, remember, in algebra, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds. And when I multiply 1 third by 4 thirds, I'm going to get 4 over 9. So x is equal to 4 over 9. All right, so pretty uh, basic algebra problem, but I think the real skill here again, is translating, you know, a verbal problem into an algebraic problem. So if you're struggling with the equation part of this, then that's where you need to improve. If you're uh, struggling a bit with the, you know, translating, well, then that's where you have to work on. Okay, just remember, all these things can be learned, right? But there's, uh, you know, a big difference between you watching me do math and you actually getting better at math yourself, right? So in other words, if you were trying to get better at basketball, would you sit and watch the TV all day, watch uh, all these NBA superstars and be like, I'm going to watch uh, all these professional basketball players, and if I do that, it's going to make me better at my own basketball game. No, the only way you're going to get better is through practice, okay? But you can't start practicing unless you get great, clear, and understandable instruction, and that's what I'm uh, trying to, uh, to deliver to all of you out there, right? So you just don't want to be practicing and struggling. If you're struggling, you know, what you need to do is stop, get some good instruction, and then get back to practicing. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.